What's up guys, Razer Phone Guy here. We're going to be taking a look at the Razer 2 phone. Now I've searched this phone so many times on YouTube and guess what? I could not find many videos whatsoever on the Razer 2 phone and that's actually really sad. And um, I, I want to share why because it is such a great phone. I still think it's a great phone. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care how blocky it is. You know what I'm saying? This is this is a great phone. This is a great phone that's going to impress a lot of people. It's going to really, I think, you know, popularity-wise, it's going to be more widespread in terms of emulation. It's going to be more of a mainstream thing. People are going to know about it more. But, I mean, for now, Android gaming, emulation, it's all... It's all up to debate, really, because a lot of people would would say, oh, it's not the best, you know. But I'm here to show a few things about the Razer 2 that I found um, that work pretty well. And um, I hope to make some future videos about this phone because I really love this phone. And if you guys make a Razer 3 phone, please, please sponsor me, Razer. Please, please. I, I want to continue making more videos for you guys. I just got a new SD card about this phone because I I love it every day when I use it. It's it's just it's just phenomenal. I I don't even use wireless charging to be frank, but um, the rapid charging is 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 quite good. Anyway, two things about this phone many people uh, are curious about. I'll, I'll show off one thing. How does how does how does it work as a daily driver? Let's 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 get that out of the way. So Snapchat loads pretty much instantly. Um, the camera's not the best. However, it does take great photos. It's very weird. All right, you take a video and like I take a video of my cat and his like head sorts of starts to like kind of like m mutate around it. It's very weird. But all, all things considered, Snapchat works phenomenal. Uh, Instagram, you gotta, oops, <laughs> that was somebody. Uh, yeah, so um, Instagram works great. Uh, one thing with this phone is you really need to install Instagram, Facebook, Messenger. They all need to be on the internal the internal storage because if not you're going to have a, a bad time it is bad guys you need to put it on the internal storage games load that sucker up on the SD card but man for these type of apps they got issues now what the hell am I talking about well I'm gonna make future videos dedicated on different emulators different consoles everything but on this video is sort of my introductory to talking about the Razer 2 um, and just what I like about it and what I don't like about it. That's all this video really is and the demo a few games. Things that re would really would really impress somebody if they saw this phone. A lot of people, you know, I'm just I'm just taking I'm just trying to tackle some of the criticism people make on how you can't daily this phone. Um, 120 hertz display. I I I absolutely love it. I keep it on all the time. I really don't notice too big of a battery drain. As you can see, I'm a big Persona fan. I got a Android widget there. Nothing big, and my stocks are doing terrible. But that's 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 you know that's just how it is. Anyways, games, 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 games. That's what we're getting to. Um, Pac-Man. Just kidding. We all know it runs Pac-Man. But what can it really run? Let's see. What can the Razer 2 run? Well, what can't it run? The Razer 2, well, there's many things it can't run. But let's try out Dolphin Emulator. Something that a lot of people a lot of people want to know what runs and what doesn't on Dolphin Emulator because it's it's a very questionable thing in the Android community. Dolphin Emulator, you know, you need a big, bulky, expensive Android to do those things. But the Razer 2, one third the cost of an S10, one third the cost of what an, an XR, and what? Let's see. 
what can one third of the XR S10 seriously seriously put out there in performance well I'm gonna tell you what guys this phone stomps on all of them and then licks them once they're squished you know what I'm saying this phone annihilates annihilates Android performance now I don't know how the S10 is working on that on Dolphin but uh, this phone kicks butt it just stomps on everything dude it stomps on it and then squ and then moves its its foot side to side it's it's dirty all right it's dirty now we're gonna we're gonna take it off battery save mode because um that's not a good way to show it off but um we're going to try kirby's air ride how does this play Now I got a scheme here. The speakers are phenomenal for this phone in emulation. Let's get that right out of the way. This this phone feels like a movie theater with it in front of your head. No kidding. Now we this is no tweaks, no rooting here. I don't know what I could possibly do, but um, we're getting 60 here, folks. We're getting. A little a little lag to be expected on the on the loading but um we're getting 60 here folks on my phone kirby's air ride switch beater question mark put that in the put it in the comments down below if you think this is a switch beater because nintendo they're not so hot with their um now i suck at this game so don't f you know don't make fun of me but uh yeah they're not doing too well with their home console so maybe, maybe you guys better check out the Razer 2 because uh, you're going to have a phenomenal gaming experience and this thing handles gaming and efficiency with the battery so well I really it really doesn't stab it it's too bad it really doesn't you know put a big damper on it as far as performance and uh, how long you know you can game? I, th I think it, it balances the two very well. And there's a setting where you can choose performance, but I have it on every time, and I see no problem. Well, Air Ride runs well, but I truly suck. Now, how does Sonic Heroes run? This is one of my favorite games of all time, well, and I'll tell you exactly how it runs. It runs absolutely phenomenally. Have you ever seen... Have you ever seen this? Now... I apologize that the camera sort of sucks. It's not a bad camera, but... Boy, does it suck for this stuff. But... This game runs phenomenally. And you know what? I think that's honestly just the most impressive thing interestingly enough guess what doesn't run well and guess what doesn't run well on this computer you're seeing right here Super Mario Sunshine now I'm not gonna say it's unplayable but it's got some issues Vulcan is what you would prefer for your graphics on Dolphin let me tell you do not go open G. You G L. You can you can mess around. You can play around. That's great. That's what I love about this one. You just play around. But Vulcan is such a great driver for the um, Android in terms of graphic handling. I think you know you'll have a good time here. You I always lag at that part. It's crazy. It must load there or something. But it lags on that on my computer and here. But is it unplayable, folks? I would say it's playable. I don't... If you guys know in the comments down below what kind of gamepad I can use other than the $150 Razer one that would work with Dolphin Emulator, that would be...
pretty helpful because that's one thing that I that I having on the power of the Razor Two. It's great and all, but a touch pad is not the best. Uh, I would greatly prefer a nice Bluetooth gamepad or, or something. Maybe, maybe if they made a, a wired USB-C dock or something, uh, output or something. Anything that works with Dolphin 2 would be great. Now, yeah, you can't skip this. But wouldn't see you'll be a little better with the sound. Possibly. How does it play, though? I'm gonna actually make a save state so I don't have to do that in a, f in a future video. Now, this is just me not messing around. Vulcan graphics. It's laggy. Now, this game's tough. I'm not gonna lie, this game's tough. It's tough for my computer, too. Let me double check. That's on the. Yeah, Vulcan. This is what you want. Now, it's pretty tough, but. This game was pretty tough, but. That's what you want. Vulcan graphics. Uh, it's an Android based graphic processor. Handles 3D rendering much better than uh, OpenGL because it's more of a computer thing. Uh, one last thing here. What else? PSP. How does PSP run on the freaking Razer 2? The best phone on the market. Well, we're going to demo. Tekken 6. Oh, we already got some save states. Round one. Interestingly enough, PSP is where you're going to be having the most fun here. GameCube, hit or miss. Just test them out. You know. Just test the ROMs out. But uh, PSP is also a hit or miss, but... I would say the graphic handling is way more accurate, it's way more, you know, it, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm way better at this game, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think, and this is running at a 60 FPS, it looks phenomenal on this, on this phone, I'm also playing Persona 3 on here, I'm having a little bit of a save state bug issue, look at that shit I have a little bit of save state issue so you might you might want to save your stuff a lot right see that that's that's tricky and it even tells you don't rely on these save states so that's a warning that I have if you use PS PPSSPP which is a good emulator but the save states are buggy. So save a lot, especially if you're playing Persona. Now, how does this game run? This game does not run very well. If you are a fan of this game and you buy this for this purpose, I'm sorry, but I don't know what I'm looking at here. Now, I'm not going to say you can't beat this game like this. I'm sure it's fairly possible. But you're not going to be seeing a lot of the flowers in the sky that you see from Spongebob. Because, well, the Razor 2 just does not want to render that. But uh, old man Jenkins' wife just got smacked. Is there anything else I could show you real quick? I don't mind showing it. Um... By the way, Fortnite runs phenomenal. If you're into that, uh, I play it sometimes. It's on the highest setting, and it runs great. Um, look out for a lot of the 100 hertz display optimized games. If you own the Razer 2, um, those look great. They make those games look great. Skull game, Skull games. Uh, probably should close these for a benchmark. Skull Girls for... Android is actually a pretty good game. So if you actually get this phone, which I suggest doing, of course, I would check out Schoolgirls because it's optimized for 120 hertz, and I think it's a great Android game, honestly. Big, good game to pick up, play. It's free. Download it right now. But uh, lastly, 
And Pokemon Go runs at 120 hertz too, so why not? But yeah, lastly, we're gonna check out the Nintendo DS for Droid. Now, what game should we try? We got Nintendogs, which does emulate the microphone of the um. It does emulate the microphone of the of the phone. However, you cannot really name your animal because when you say like it's like lucky, say lucky. Guess what? It hears it, all. It hears is a bunch of. <coughs> so you you screwed. You you. It's not gonna work. So. I don't know how to get past that part. Maybe there's a safe state where I can skip, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you know how to skip the naming portion of Nintendogs, because I like to play Nintendogs on my phone. I'm not going to lie. I just not, You don't use the voice that often, but they, they really do want you to try it at that peripheral, the microphone. Anyway, here's a funny game. Let's try Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. This is a DS emulator, guys. And I've literally owned every one of these games that we played so far. So, I legally own, you know, I don't know where the heck Mario went, but I own it. So, and I, I did own this game. <laughs> it's pretty nostalgic. Uh, let's go with cycling. I have not played this in so long. Who we want to be? Let's play Eggman. This DS emulator runs pretty great, I'm not gonna lie. It's not bad. There are some things about it that are quirky. There are some things about it that are just to be expected. I do get frame drops. Not in this game. I do get frame drops of Mario Kart, but it's very playable. It, it works great, honestly. Pretty much nitpicking about the performance with those games. I haven't found it too bad. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Oh my god, Eggman talking. Switch beater? Question mark? Holy sh. Oh my god. Oh, Ouija. He wants to get in Smash so bad. This is like the Smash race. To whoever wins gets to be in Smash. Why am I racing just Wall or Ouija? I don't want to lose to this guy. Oh, that's it. I don't think I'm gonna be Wall or Ouija, guys. No, I'm not. Look, look at me. Look at me. So I need a game pad. Is what we're really down to here. I don't know how I'm supposed to set that up on all these apps, but. In a future video, we're going to investigate all that information and bring it to you. I'm going to hopefully be able to deliver how to get Dolphin Emulator the most optimized, proper way, with all the settings, with a, with a Bluetooth controller in the future. Uh, DS Emulator, Game Boy Emulator, the works. Just comment down, let me know what you guys want to see. Uh, I got a Razer 2, and I've been pretty much obsessing over this phone ever since I got it. I've been looking at videos trying to see emulators and uh, different performance benchmarks about emulators, but um, I really haven't seen much videos about it, so I'm hoping I can bring some content to the table on YouTube, so stay tuned uh, for more Racer 2 emulation videos. Um, signing off.